Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new flight controller in and it's an all-in-one flight controller by FR Sky. So this is the F4 version of the all-in-one flight controller and it's rocking the MPU 6000 gyro. So let's just take a look at it. It's actually it's pretty nice. I think it does have some kind of conformal coding on it too. So basically this is an all-in-one flight controller and it's an F4 processor and it has SD card expansion as well as XSR, I believe, that is built into this. So that's pretty sweet. And um, yeah, I'm really liking this. However, this will not fit many frames that I have in the house. I mean, I'm actually rethinking of rebuilding one of my Martians so I can actually test this guy because uh, he's, it's very long. It's, it's a very long flight control of this one. Um, but overall, it seems pretty good. So let's just take a look at what it comes with. So obviously we get this, we get the flight controller itself. And um, these are supposed to be partly glued on, but mine just not for some reason. Maybe I yanked it too hard. So you might want to hit that with some hot glue if you would like to. And here what they do is they provide us with even dampeners. So these would go into the holes and they do give us a bunch of pinouts and an XT60 connector. So that's very good of them. And we get our instruction manual here. And this is something here that's very important. So as you can see here, um, right there, it says it's a 16 channel receiver, which is the XSR, I believe. Uh, on channel eight, it's the S RSSI. If you want to use RSSI, it's on channel eight. Um, on SBUS, the SBUS is connected to UART1. So in beta flight, you would put serial RX to UART1, and that would be running the internal receiver. And the smart port, yeah, see, it's, it is an XSR. And the smart port for, for the XSR is on UART6. So UART6 would be enabled for the smart port telemetry. So that's very good, very simple. And I believe that'll leave us with one UART possibly. And yes, it does have Betaflight OSD, the MPU 6000 gyro, which is the good one. And yeah, could take up to a 6S. So that's pretty sweet. Um, seems pretty nice. So let's just go over the pads and just check it out and see if it's well labeled and everything is pretty good spaced out or not so let's just double check this so i don't know the orientation here it doesn't even say the numbering so let's just take a look okay yeah that's perfect so it is beta flight orientation it's very difficult to see but that's s1 and that's s2 and that's s3 and that's s4 yes it looks flipped because it's supposed to be like this and that'll be correct so this would be s1 this would be S2, this would be 3, and this would be 4. So it's perfect beta flight orientation, which is very good. And um, it, it better be that way, really, because it's so long, and it'll be a pain to actually kind of flip wires around if you didn't want to change the resources in beta flight. So where's the OSD chip? There it is. So we have the OSD. We have a current sensor. It's very good. And let's just check out the pads here. So the signal is kind of small. The, the power pads for the ESCs are a bit small here, but it's totally fine. I mean, it's not a problem. It won't cause any problem. And here we have TX3 and RX3. So if you wanted them, they're right there. And here we have battery minus plus for some reason, if you wanted battery or buzzer, sorry, this would be buzzer actually. And then here's the LED signal. Here's ground and S. I have no idea what S is. 5 volt and here's ground video out so this is where you would, you would take this pad to your VTX VBAT which is the direct power from the battery and 5 volt which is a 5 volt in and ground so the camera would basically go ground and then the yellow wire would go here and then go to 5 volt so this is where, this is where you would connect your camera and um, let's just see here okay yeah and it's pretty sweet so this would be powering your vtx this is straight from the battery so this would be the red wire to your vtx this would be the yellow wire to your vtx and this would be the black wire to your vtx and that's it you basically connected your vtx and receiver and i think that's all you really need to connect to this guy that's it other than your escs and your battery and you're basically done so this is a pretty nice clean sweet setup however i wish it was just in a smaller form factor because it's, it's very long um I think even my X210 would not fit, or maybe it did actually, um, I don't remember, but um, I think it was very difficult to fit that in without touching the standoffs, but this is, I'm really liking this, I really do, but I wish it was just a lot smaller. So let's just get its dimensions now, so the caliper is zeroed out here, and we're going to take its width, let's see how wide it is, it's pretty long, so the wide is just around basic, it's around 36.2 
36.2 millimeters yeah we'll just say 36.2 millimeters here in width and the length is what's really gonna be the most difficult part to set up on Quasi because it's actually pretty long so let's just take that it's 60 millimeters uh, long tall whatever you want to call it so it's 60 millimeters so that's just um, it's pretty long <clears throat> And let's just see the thickness of the PCB. It's 1.5 millimeters, which is just standard, really. Nothing special, nothing crazy, just something to be expected and should be at least 1.5 millimeters. So overall, this is going to be pretty good. Um, there, I don't see much filtration, so I don't see a real need to actually test it for noise. But I will be building this very soon. I'm going to have a test set up on a, maybe just a Martian, a very noisy setup, so I could just stick them, swap them in real quick. The new flight controllers that are coming out that I really can't test noise on. Um, so this is going to be pretty interesting. I hope it's good. I don't think I've seen anything much about it just yet, but overall this should keep your quad clean and light as well. So that's all I could really say right now um, seems pretty promising and yeah that's it guys so I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and I will see you next time see you guys take care